إن دماء الأطفال والنساء والشيوخ لا أقول تستصرخكم بل نحن الذين نحتاج هذه الدماء لكي توقظ فينا روح الثورة لكي توقظ فينا العناد لكي توقظ فينا التحدي والسير إلى الأمام شوف كيف تتالك فيدي يا بابنا كتل اليهود Hatred that is beyond the norm. And this, Rabutai, is the part where I'm telling you, you have to be careful before you watch this, and I certainly don't recommend that you look up any of these videos. Certainly some of you already have watched them. As you know, the media publicize some of them, but there is, of course, the internet. And one of the things that uh, you're seeing now is that not only did these Ishmael's descendants, Imach Shimam Vezichram, did they come, did they attack us, did they murder and rape and take hostage our people? But now they're celebrating around the world a great victory. And one part of their celebration is showing off and making fun of the Jewish people and how they outwitted the Israeli army, how they murdered and raped us and burned us alive and did all types of things. And they themselves are actually publicizing these videos with pride. Pride unlike anything else we've seen in the world. Now the things I'm going to tell you, Rabotai, are not speculation. Everything that I'm telling you here is eyewitness news, first-hand report, either by speaking directly to the people that were there, that were collecting the body parts and still are collecting the body parts, or the other things that I'm going to mention to you. These are people that either were in video, in phone calls, first-hand, you know, face-to-face -face conversations, confirming all of these details. And it must be told to everyone. So regardless of whether you agree or disagree with the Israeli government uh, political stance on things. We went in the first house we saw was a couple, father and mother, sitting there on the knees, on the floor. They were on the knees, now they were head down, hands tied to the back. You must understand that supporting anything to do with Ishmael's descendants and the people that did this, and the people that want to do more of this is supporting the Satan, is supporting the ultimate evil in the world. As some of the things that we've seen in our life, whether it's from the different investigations we did about the Holocaust, and as I've told you guys over the years, they used to do all types of experiments on Jewish people while they were alive, killing them many times. Horrible things I've seen. These things have actually surpassed it. What we've seen in the last couple of days, Rabutai Karim, have surpassed any measure of evil that we've ever seen in our life. And it must be known by the public that is ignorant of the truth, only sees things through videos on the internet that make the Ishmaelim look like decent people look like persecuted people, 
look like they're being attacked. We're talking about the most evil nations on planet Earth. And after you see what they've done, you'll understand why I say this. Now, of course, all nations have gone to war at some point or another and are still at war. Whether it's the current wars between Russia and Ukraine or the different wars between uh, India and Pakistan or uh, the uh, different uh, countries against uh, uh, Germany and Japan, we've seen a lot of things. And there are rules to war. There are prisoners of war that have to be treated a certain way. There are people, the dead have to be treated a certain way. Uh, there's, there's rules to war. There are rules to war. The rules to war have been broken in more measures in the last couple of days by the Ishmaelim than any other nation in recent history. To start off, we know that they broke through the borders and just started going after civilians, killing anyone they saw, going into the police station and killing everybody, taking it over, going into different uh, uh, military places and killing everybody. But after that, going to the houses, houses of regular people, house to house, they went and they killed them. Had they just shot the people, killed the people, it would be enough. Enough evil. But it wasn't. The people that have provided this information, have provided pictures, have provided videos, have provided literally free access to all media, all types of journalists that are willing to document the truth. But yet, very little of it is actually out there in the bigger media outlets. Most of it is being publicized independently by the Palestinian terrorists themselves, by the evil monsters themselves that are actually taking pride in this. Some people tell me that there is a lot of things on the internet, whether it's uh, Twitter or Facebook, but the most you can find is on uh, Telegram, uh, but again, like I said, I don't recommend you doing it. I don't recommend you looking at it just simply because it'll torment you for a long time, especially for people that are weak at heart. Just listening to what happened is going to be enough. One of the things that I uh, just found out tonight from uh, someone that is directly... I had a conversation with uh, people that are at Zaka collecting the bodies. And he says that they already know for sure that the numbers on the news of only 1,200 Jewish people being murdered uh, is a complete fabrication. It is much, much more than that. They've already confirmed well over 1,600 people dead, but there are countless more. And out of all of the dead, they've only been able to identify just a couple of hundred bodies, meaning there are already confirmed 1,600 people. They're still finding more and more. But out of the 1,600 people, only a couple hundred, only about 250 or so have actually been identified of who they are. Why only a couple of hundred? Because of the mutilation that they have done to these people. In one particular location, they went to a neighborhood regular neighborhood, and each house they found more and more dead bodies. Some of these people that volunteered to do this, working to do this, literally had to go in and out of the houses and vomit because of just the gruesome nature of what happened. In one particular places, one particular place they found over 40 babies, 40 toddlers murdered with their heads chopped off. Over 40 babies murdered with their heads chopped off. In another place, they found many other children tied together. On the other side of the dining room was a 7-year-old boy and a girl, I would say about 6 years old. 
sitting just against the, the parents. Hands tied to the back. Same position. The bodies were tortured. While now, st start to use imagination. Who was tortured before? Who saw if this was <coughs> the if this was a purpose? If this was the children looking at the parents being tortured, the parents seen, and when I say tortured, I will say missing body pieces. An eye, just taken out an eye, one eye, fingers being, fingers being, and all, all this happened, and by the end, they all had a bullet, and still not finished. In the middle, there's a table. Those tables were sitting and eating, the, the, the Saturday meal that was prepared for this family, they just took it, they ate this meal while torturing these children. Tied to each other, on the floor, burned alive. All of them burned alive. In another place, they found countless bodies lying on the floor, all tied up with their hands and legs tied up behind their back, and then all shot and killed, sliced in one particular woman that was pregnant. They killed her. They cut her open, her belly open, and took the baby out and killed it too. Literally, you're talking about the sickest people on planet earth even the murderers around the world don't act like this serial killers don't act like this but if this wasn't it this would be enough but it wasn't they took a bunch of children and they put them in animal cages and then they burned them all alive and chopped off some of their heads They raped countless Jewish women. But it wasn't just a typical rape like some people are aware of where you see the women that are taken hostage and you see that their pants are full of blood. Rather, people that, I'm telling you eyewitnesses of this, of, of, of what happened. After they raped them, they would shoot them in the reproductive organ. And other times, they would actually put their weapons inside the woman's body in order to torture her to death until they died. They would literally put the weapons inside the body of the woman after they tormented her. In one particular scene, they took a group of women, tied them up in the middle, and then around them, they took a bunch of children and tied them around the women in a circle to make sure that the children watch this as they rape all of the women and then murder all of them in the most horrific ways, cutting some of them into little pieces. One particular person told us that he was given a bag, a body bag, and they told him, this is a child. He says, this is not a child. This is a woman. He said, no, look, it's a small little bag. He opened the bag and he showed him, no, look, it's, she's cut up into little pieces. She's cut up into little pieces. A group of women were raped as children were watching it and then they killed each one of the women and killed each one of the kids and burned them in some cases, cutting them to pieces in other cases, beheading some of them. Further, if that wasn't enough, today we had a direct report from a doctor that is looking into the bodies, trying to identify them, that gave insight to others of why it's taking so long. 
And one of the reasons why it's taking so long is because these Ishmaeli, Mimach Shimon Vezichram, it wasn't enough to kill the people. It wasn't enough to rape the people. It wasn't enough to chop off heads and bodies in pieces. It wasn't enough. They even put bombs inside some of the bodies. So when the Jewish doctors and soldiers identify them and they touch the bodies or they investigate, they turn on the bomb and kill the people, meaning the living people would die. Literally, they put bombs inside the corpses. Hello? Hi, Abba. Abba, I'm going to tell you about the Jewish افتح الواتس سبع كل ويام شوف كيف القتلة شوف كيف قتلت فيه يا رب ابنك قتل يهود هاي دخل الله أكبر ربنا يحميك يا رب 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 من جوال يهودية قتلتها وقتلت جوزها الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر يا أبا افتح الواتس شوف كيف قتلت يا أبا افتح افتح بدي اسمع عليك واتس كل ويام روح ربنا يحميك السلام These are things, Rabutai, we all wish our ears have never heard and our eyes have never seen. These are the things that have happened. These are the things that have happened to our Jewish people over the last couple of days. And all of you that are supporting the Ishmaelim, Imach Shimam Vezichram, you yourself are no different than them. You yourself are no less vicious than they are. And you yourself will get a punishment no different than they will eventually. Thank you.